let's get ready to rumble. Okay, wait, I need to pull up the shared note. I can't drink my coffee. Why? Because I don't even have to go to the bathroom. Okay. I have to wait. Happy Valentine's Day. Well, uh, hopefully. Is that when it's coming out? It should be. If we can get all of our shit together, this should Happy be a Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day, everyone. Um, you know what's Exciting. interesting? I'm not a Valentine's Day girly. I never have been. Suddenly yeah. this year, I am. Yeah. When I tell you, I don't know why, I got like the matching pajamas well, for it's me. Different when you have kids and the boys. It's exciting. I did like a whole little thing of gifts for them, mm -hmm. and then I'm having a dinner with a few girlfriends the night before, and I had texted them being like you know, don't ex low expectations from yeah. me. Then I went ham and I got like <laughs> tablecloths, <laughs> table runners. It's like the most like, unlike you thing I've white ever heard. with red hearts, little bubble candles that are pink and red that I'm going to put on the table, the pink napkins. I'm making gift bags. Like I, you ordered a sweater. Did you get a sweater? Oh, I did order a sweater. <laughs> like so off brand. And you know, it's not going to look anything like hers, but you know who I love on Instagram? Who? Or TikTok, this girl Talia. Hold on, Hubble, maybe is her name. She's so not who I am, like at all. Mm -hmm. But I just, yeah, Talia Hubble. I just love her stuff. Like she's I don't very know anybody's like names. I feel girly. Like. You've probably seen her, but she does these like really elaborate girls dinner, like dinner parties for her girlfriend oh she's so cute and okay, yeah i've seen her i'm just like i wish i was that person and i know i'm not but this is my middle ground yeah so anyway love, love i'm a valentine's vibe. day girl this year i have i just like i mean that's like so far to the extreme i feel like that's like an unusual like i've never done like a galentine's dinner i wouldn't say that that's unusual but you are taking it. No, I'm fully running with this. Yeah. Okay, Excited. so we have a note that we've been trying to add to about things we need to discuss. Um, okay, I just have a few things I want to unpack. Should we be looking at this? Or should we no, me. Okay. I have a few things I want to unpack. Okay. First of all, I'm really sorry that I was such an anal person about your mic and then I was the <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. I went no. to edit it and I was like, no, you're fucking kidding. You are absolutely kidding me. No, you guys, we spent 20 minutes yeah. beforehand trying to figure out my mic, made sure everything was set up perfectly. We got my lighting good, would have appreciated a ring light, but whatever. And we record the whole thing and then Cammy texts me and it's like, well, joke's on me. No, but it was so bad because it was also from my AirPods. Yeah, um, unfortunate. And we have a few things that we need to go over from that episode, which are serial killer tendencies. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to pull those up because I am not prepared. The poll results and a few others. All right. The poll results, we pulled you guys on some things that we talked about last time. When you shower, do you face the shower head or the wall? I am not surprised. Okay, sorry. 68% <laughs> face <laughs> the wall. Color me Color me shy. 68% face the wall. So same with us. 15% of people brush their teeth with hot water, which is higher than hot I would have. 15. Wow. Still higher than I would have thought. Same. Um, That's crazy. 45% drink room temperature water. So I'm not as crazy as you think I Don't am. Don't like that. I need ice cold. And then some serial killer tendencies. A lot of people like sleeping with their socks. Mom does that. <laughs> Mom does that. And, you know, I don't do it. But if I'm really cold, I don't have I a problem understand. falling asleep with them. Okay, one million tabs open at all times. That's me. If you could see. That is my serial this killer is tendency. All my Safari tabs are on my phone. What's your number? Uh, 328. I have 500. Okay. I have to delete a tab every time I want to open one. Oh, you're you're officially and bad. I don't close out of my apps on my phone. I don't ever unless I'm like the other night I was at an event and I had ten percent yeah. battery. No, um, I I never close out of my tabs. I have so many on my work laptop, on my phone, and it's Tyler's biggest pet peeve. Tyler has like ten tabs on his phone, and he's like, just go through and delete no, them. I'm I like, no, I'm like, no, but I'm gonna need them one day. 
a lot of people say they set like 20 alarms and they never delete them. And that's you. And let me tell you, that's my biggest pet peeve. That's aside from the, no, Lucy, are you kidding? That's, that's psychotic. Why would you ever have that many? (laughs) Like, why do I have a 10 40 PM? Why would you have that many? (laughs) I just don't delete them. But also like people who, if you're in a relationship and with someone so many. and they have like 10 alarms, yeah, no, I know Tyler you do it. that. I would murder Joe. Yeah. I almost killed him when we were, when I was pregnant and his alarm would go off. Like there were some mornings he'd get up before alarm. his one alarm and he'd leave, but it's an alarm clock, not his phone. And if he would get up before it, he'd leave the bedroom, whatever. And then his uh, alarm would go off. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's nothing cool. compared to what you people well, do. Well, also, I just got the hatch. Yeah, for Christmas and I love it and I have been waking up with I do set two even though it snoozes after nine minutes I get nervous that it's not gonna snooze okay I'm gonna touch something or do something so I set two 10 minutes apart and I've been getting up with that okay that's a win um a lot of people also have a lot of hatch alarms (laughs) (laughs) no people say that Oh, someone wrote biting ice cream straight to jail. I bite ice cream. I bite ice cream. I can't do that. I don't know why. Can't do it. Um, A lot of other people were like certain weird things that they like to eat. Like I like soggy foods. I like to eat Cheerios. Soggy foods. Stale. Yeah. I don't. Stale Cheerios. Crunchy. I, I don't know. Okay. Those were a lot of the serial killer tendencies. A few other things on our note that I want to talk about. One, we just talked about it in the car, but when I see old content of mine, oh. I want to barf. Ick. I give myself the ultimate ick. Like, <laughs> and I said to her, I was like, wow, I cannot even imagine that feeling because I'll watch like a video of me or something like old of just like doing something random. And I still am like, oh, a bit of the ick. I cannot imagine like full blown content talking to the camera. Alone. Such a fucking ick. That would be a struggle for me. It's it it, it really is. Um, <laughs> it, it it truly is. One other content piece that we have in here that I feel you added to roast me is <laughs> my story progression of the planets. Oh my god! Yeah, I just added screenshots of it. That was so funny. That was just. <laughs> on brand for me my biggest thing is like every time cammy posts a story and there's a spelling error or grammatical error or something i will always dm her and be like "Mm, nope it's not that it's this and she always would just be like fuck off like stop i don't care i don't care i I literally don't care and it's so funny because we joke in our family that you can't you don't know sayings no or not great with spelling, but I feel no, like growing uh, up, you me. were so anal about grammar. I'm not, I'm fine with spelling for the most part. Okay. I just used use the, the wrong, wrong words. words. I was anal about grammar as like kind of this annoying thing I did because I was like studying for my SATs. I think I just did it to you. Okay. Well, it, but yes, when I posted <laughs> the photo that basically <laughs> the timeline of I did Friday payday. He's learning about anatomy in school right now and is obsessed with the fact that we live on Earth. So this was a big hit at Liberty Science Center. When I posted that, I'm like, oh, this is so cute. This is such a cute picture. Oh my God, he is obsessed with anatomy. He's so smart. <laughs> Loves anatomy. And then D <laughs> messaged me being like, I think you meant astronomy. Yes, astronomy. And I wrote, yeah, guys, of course I meant astrology. And then someone wrote, sorry to call you out. She said astronomy, yeah. you said yeah. astrology. Because I was like, wait, no, you said astrology. <laughs> and I said, I said astrology. And some girl's like, uh, I think you mean astronomy. And I'm like, just goodbye. And someone else is like, also, it says Friday payday. <laughs> That's, you know what it is? My brain just like is at such a low functioning so capacity right now. Yeah, you're just... It just, Who cares? I, I don't care. What I are you gonna do? I don't care. So Something funny. that happened that I haven't told you about, and I've been trying to figure out how to make that, how to share this in a way that like <laughs> don't be concerned for me. Oh God! But so I text my therapist um, throughout the week if I think of something I want to talk to her about. Uh-huh. I just send her a quick text. Yeah, and we have discussed. You never have to respond to my text messages. 
It's just for me to remember, like, yeah, it's for me to put it somewhere. Like a notes app. Exactly. So that I don't forget. Maybe you should do that. It's well, <laughs> she doesn't care, except for the fact that I sent this one screenshot of an article about like <laughs> attachment styles because I wanted uh -huh. to talk about attachment styles and ask if she thinks I have secure attachment or anxious <laughs> attachment. And I sent that, whatever. And then I was having this moment later than that day, I think, where I was having a really hard time. And I talked about this when I was going on my girl's trip of like, or not when I was going on my girl's trip, of asking for help. Mm. Childcare yeah. fell through. I had to, I had that work day. And so I sent her a text that said, God, why do I have such a hard time asking for help? And I think she read it as like, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. It said having a hard time asking for help. Oh, and I God. think she read it. And all of a sudden I get a response like, Cameron, are you okay? Do you need me to call you? <laughs> and I start laughing so hard. It's not funny because like if something were really bad, I yeah. get why. I, of I get her brain went to the worst place. And then I had to be like, I'm so this sorry for Dawn scaring you. Yeah. She's like, I just saw this. Call me. Like, are you okay? Are you well? Like wellness check. And I felt really badly because I was like, that's not yeah what i was that's not what you meant but in the moment i was also like fuck my <laughs> life i just <laughs> like, scared her scared so the much. shit out of her thinking um, that something bad was happening and you're just like hmm, ah, i can't ask for it yeah care. no i was like no 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 abort mission abort <laughs> mission the thing that i was figuring out childcare for was my self magazine shoot mm, killed it I'm a model. I'm not. Killed it. But I want to talk about, do you ever have like, oh, do you ever have imposter syndrome? Mm, uh, not really, because I don't think that I'm necessarily doing something in my life that that would warrant. Not even with work? <laughs> no. <laughs> really? You're no. just like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I would understand being in your position, having that, I probably would feel that way but no I don't think I've ever felt that hmm we're so different we're so okay well I actually want to get into that because I felt it so much at the shoot where I was just like but that's understandable you're doing a full like ath like athletic modeling model. shoot. I know and they were all models and, and you're I, not like like that's of course you're gonna feel that supposed way. to fucking do here like I would feel that way if I was in that position why do you think are those new seekers um kind of yeah let me see they're kith adidas kith head they're really cute Tyler has matching ones of course um <laughs> why do you think you don't have anxiety I don't well okay so here's the thing I I wouldn't say that I have daily anxiety but I get anxious about things give me an example like if I have to okay uh, the first time we recorded a podcast I okay. couldn't speak for 45 <laughs> seconds like if I have to do like public speaking or at work or like a lot of shit is going on at work and I'm stressed. Like I get situational anxiety where I'm like, oh, oh fuck, I feel like super anxious right now, but I'm not every day anxious, if that makes sense. Isn't it weird that we can be so different? Yeah. Like I wouldn't say I have like underlying everyday anxiety. No, you don't. But if a situation uh, presents itself where it's like stressful or anxiety inducing I'm gonna be anxious about it okay another thing that yeah I um also we need to discuss mom's letter to me okay outrageous <laughs> I almost can we pull it up yeah okay it's too long to read but the no, gist of it way too long to is read. like the fact that after that I don't have okay. I think that was wait we, well, after you just yeah all right first of all mom it was clearing out stuff in her office the fact that she had like ten thousand folders for every party she threw so on brand but then she found all these old letters and there's a two-page typed printed letter um that she gave to you i guess yeah she's i i don't remember it but seeing it i'm like oh, okay i kind of remember this it was my junior year of high school of high school it says, have fun in florida yeah we we would go on our spring break trip with a lacrosse team 
to Florida to play lacrosse for like a week straight. Yeah. And I guess she gave me this letter right before leaving. And you can just I mean, just some of them are so outrageous. It's like bullet points. She's like, you need to be more (laughs) like confident in yourself and i'm reading it at the like when she sent it i'm reading it at the start thinking that it's just like about my life and being like you need to find your passion like you're so strong you're great and then all of a sudden it turns to lacrosse just don't ever let a ground ball (laughs) pass you by like what okay the the first page is like talking about your relationship kind of yeah that she's um, hard on me and yeah and puts too much pressure yes um there's one line that kills me go to florida proud to be a member of varsity work tirelessly and come back a better lacrosse player like, but this second page i <laughs> i never read no <laughs> and it's all like these lacrosse things you know she's she's Most like i've watched a lot of to lacrosse be towards the ball <laughs> Never stand still. Use your size. Be more aggressive on ground balls and cuts. But <laughs> she's like, I've watched a lot of lacrosse in my life. Here are some pointers. But this is what's so interesting because I think this was our childhood where I just thought this was everyone's childhood. hundred percent. And I asked Joe this actually because I think there's a mix of, look, we all went to play D1 lacrosse. So like yeah. clearly something worked. Mm. But I thought that yeah. like all kids that took sports seriously experienced this and I... Joe played college basketball. For sure. So I asked him once, like, when you got in the car after games, did you get, like, mm-hmm. a play-by-play talking to you, like, unpack everything? You yeah. know, this, this is what you did well, this yeah. is what you didn't. He was like, what the fuck are you talking about? But, what like, I about? can't believe that Bill didn't do that. I know. I know. Just like, that. being how he was. like How he was at games. Crazy. 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 That's, well, I asked Tyler the same thing, and Tyler said his dad did. Oh, okay. He, so, uh, but, but also Tyler's dad and my mom are like the same person. Your mom? Okay. But there's also one line in here. I do not want you to be perfect. I do not want you to be like your sisters. I want you to be the best you that you can be. Did you always feel like you were being compared to Maddie and I? Always. Really? Yeah. Well, more so you because you were, you're five years older than me and we went to the same school the whole time. Like the whole time I was at PDS, you were at PDS? No. No. I mean, I was in college. Wait, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> what? When, like, when I was growing up, you had been at PDS. Okay. And so, like, all of my teachers, all of yeah. the people that we went to school with all knew you. Okay. Like, Maddie went to Lawrenceville for high school, and she's eight years older than me. But we had crossover okay. of teachers and, like, people that we went to school with. So that was always the comparison, like, our coaches were the same. Okay, but you felt that with mom and dad? Yeah, I think, and with teachers and coaches. I mean, teachers, but, there's not much to compare. It's not like I was a good student well, in high school. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't, but if, for sure, mom, yeah. I mean, Cammie, we d- literally did everything the same. Like, how yes. is that not a comparison? Okay, fair, 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 fair. Um, wait, sorry, but also unpacking childhood stuff. I had this moment. Wait, before we move to what I want to say, oh, I can we have something. also talk about this poem of death? Yes, but before we get into that, what I was going to say is it's crazy to me that I do not have like so much anxiety after reading that letter. Like, if you could read the entire thing, it is insane. But the fact that after that, I don't have yeah like trauma from that is insane. <laughs> Did you call mom and unpack it? No. Okay. See, that's so interesting. I would be like, let's sit down. (laughs) This is why I am the way that I am. Let's go line by line. No, because it's not. I'm like, okay, after you know. I guess. The other (laughs) thing mom found is some weird ass poem. Oh, didn't we read? Not poem? But didn't we read a poem at Papa's funeral? Or am I making that up? I didn't. No, we did not. I think we did. Or there we were is supposed to. No way I said these words out loud. No, I think we did. Well, when mom first sent this, I thought we wrote this, and that's why I was very confused well, no. because the last line is like, we will all be one together sense. with Christ. And I'm like, there's no way I ever wrote that. But the things that came – basically, there's some poem about death that we must have read somewhere because it's assigned colors and who's no, who. I'm telling you, I just texted 
Marin and Carly. Okay. Maybe we read this at Papa's. I don't remember. Um, okay. I have a question for you. Okay. The other night, I picked a fight for no real reason with Joe. Mm, I saw your TikTok. I was that. just like, things seem kind of calm. You know, ruffle some feathers. Just easy. Not easy at all, but like yeah. our relationship just felt very like mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. And I was like, let's throw gas and see if we can start a fire. Why? And it, it, I didn't consciously realize I was doing that necessarily. Yeah, but looking back. But I just start picking a fight and he's looking at me kind of like, <laughs> what? And I literally said verbatim, like, come on, don't you? What, you don't want to fight? Like, come on. And he's like, why the fuck would I want to fight? What are you talking about? No. And and he was just kind of like, Cam, what is going on? I think you live in a delusional world where, like, you see this and whatever. Yeah. And later that night, I was like, sorry, I think I just wanted to pick a fight wanted for no reason. Drama. And do you ever do that? Not, like... I mean, I don't, I guess you'd have to ask Tyler. I don't know if like I would be able to call myself out on that, but probably at times if it's just like a little thing and I blow it out of proportion. Well, someone commented on my TikTok why I wanted to bring this up was because like, did you grow up in chaos? Because <laughs> then maybe you feel comfortable yeah. in fighting. No, yeah. I think I've I've also seen something about that somewhere where it's like, if that's how you grew up, that's just what you're comfortable around and you it feels like natural to have that a conversation that type of way. I feel very comfortable fighting. Same. And also mom grew up saying, I love, like, she's like, <laughs> you and me just loved to fight. Like, that was our relationship. We loved fighting. And I was like, I didn't necessarily enjoy it, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> well, okay. Then I started asking Joe this because then I said, my therapy was therapy. Yeah. I was, like, unpacking all of this uh -huh. on my own. I'm like, kind of. And I think I, like, have mental arguments with, like, imag I, I create imaginary fights in my head. Do you ever do that? No. I don't think so. What do you mean? Okay, like sometimes it's not really with Joe. It'll be with like, I don't know. Okay, you <laughs> wouldn't experience this, be, but I'll think of like, if I post something, I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. I go if into the mind of a troll this. and I'm like, if the troll says this, uh. then I can do this. And I literally create a fight in my head where I'm like having uh, an argument uh -huh. because I almost like to be in that mindset. Interesting. No, I can't say that I've... I mean, maybe, but I don't think I do that. Okay. I get where you're coming from, though. But I think that that's also a very unique position that you're in. Where yeah, but I also do it, like, outside of work. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I haven't had, like, a very good... I haven't had a battle in a very long time. Well, see, I think I am, in our family, very much, the, I think, the one that speaks up and, like, is a fighter. Yeah. And with dad and with dad yeah. for sure. And I feel like if he's doing something that's pissing me off or like not whatever, I'm going to speak up about it. And I feel like you and Maddie are just like, oh, whatever. Like, it's fine. Just let it be. And I'm like, no, I got it. Like, I can't. And sometimes I think with Tyler, I am, I will do that, but I'm so much easier on him at times but we're both very passionate people. So when we fight, yeah. it, it gets to like, there's just no reason that it needs to be that intense. <laughs> not that it's intense, but it's just like, well, why are we yelling at each other? Like, it's not yeah. that big of a deal. Well, you know what my therapist yeah. said when I told her all this? She was like, fighting is also a form of, like, it's passionate. Yeah. It's not positive passion, but it's passionate. Exactly. And she's like, I think you just feel, I'm so still in the roommate phase. We're coming out of it, yeah. but like, we're so in it that she's like, I think you're almost just like looking for something. passion, yeah. like excitement. Mm -hmm. not, not that it's positive. Um, oh, she's good. Yeah, oh, she's so good. Aaron, love you. <laughs> what salty face that you put on here? Oh, it's this new tanning product that I've just seen a bunch of ads for, and I liked it. You, that's I don't know why I put it there. What you added to the note uh -huh. and influencer gifting, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, possibly, possibly me. me. <laughs> this is what you add to our podcast note. <laughs> 
Salty Face and Influencer Gifting, dot, dot, dot. Salty Face, made. I wanted to recommend because we talk so much about tanning and like my fake tan okay which i don't really do that much anymore because it's so bad for you like the chemicals it's just not good so i don't do it as much anymore okay but i just found this new tanning product salty face which i've been i've gotten so many ads for and they say that it's like the best one on the market it's non-toxic it has like no chemicals no all right and it's good so we'll if you're look looking for it. a new product who knows if that's true maybe salty face will listen to this and influencer gift send you. me some things influencer gifting possibly me if anybody wants to send me anything <laughs> any brands out there be my listening. guest be my guest what else is going on it's just so Lucy fun Lucy? getting packages like that like i love really you give me your things oh the best like sometimes companies i know that you only like approve yeah. certain things but sometimes companies will get your address and some have your old address yep or ones that you've already approved but you haven't updated your address so they send it to her old address which is in my building and they mark it as mine yeah because they know her name and i get so excited opening it see it's so fun. that's like the, and it's like, even if I don't care about it. The thrill of newness, I think. For sure. Because when I see the videos that influencers post that are like, just two days of PR unboxing oh and it's 50 boxes, my entire body is like, Crazy. I would want nothing to do with that. The waste. Yeah. You know, The actual sure. unboxing. Then you have to get rid of the boxes. Then where do you put all this shit? I think I'm such a, like, I don't want things. Yeah. Like, I hate clutter. That no, but the thrill of opening a package for me is like dopamine hit. Yeah. Mine is the opposite. I love it. I actually hate seeing packages because I'm like, oh my God, there's so much clutter and I have to deal with this. Like even if I order it. Yeah. I love the no, act I... of ordering. I hate the act of like receiving the package. No, I love it. I love it. It's the best. Well, I'll take all your PR. I mean, that's we differ in that world of just like clutter. Yeah, for sure. You love, you love. What else is happening in Lucy Land? Oh, I'm going to. So I was talking to my friends, and they were all talking about these long trips that they're taking just for fun with family or with their significant others because Tyler is in school at Columbia. No big deal. Um, he I'm has illegal. A... <laughs> Whatever. He has a spring break. So. And I don't know how this happened, but I got five extra vacation days. Hell yeah. Just randomly this year. So I was like, okay, great. Awesome. Let's go somewhere for spring break. And we just booked it and we're going to Antigua. So fun. I'm so excited. When are you going? Um, March 10th. Oh my God, I'm going so on my soon. trip the week after. I know. I'm going to the Cayman Islands. Speaking of, there's really bad weather in the Cayman Islands right now. I just saw a TikTok about it. Okay. But hopefully that will blow over. I I mean, we've got a while. Really bad storms. Okay. Mom, don't listen. <laughs> don't. She's, she's going to be up my butt about that. Don't look at that. Um, but yeah, so, this will be our first trip. Solo trip. Besides London. But that was like... With couples? Also with couples. So this will be our first solo trip. We're going for five days. And we're just going to chill on the beach. And drink pina coladas i'm so excited I'm so for you excited. that's my goal as well yeah. drink pina coladas i just want to be on a beach i can't wait do you feel hmm. because i had this moment i slept in the city last night i was kind of saying this to you yeah and it's maddie's birthday today that we're recording this so i was mm -hmm. facetiming her on my walk to blackstone i slept at chloe's apartment and i just woke up and i was like oh i'm well she didn't have it she doesn't drink coffee so i was like i'm gonna Wow. Right, I know. I'm going to run downstairs to Duncan because mm. she's on that block and just grab coffee, come back, have it, like get ready, et cetera. Yeah. And that was this moment where I walked outside. It was 630 and Jesus. the sun is rising. Yeah. There are people at like the Equinox printing house. People are walking around. And I'm like, my life, why was I so, what was I so stressed for before I had children? What was I so fucking stressed? I had no responsibility. 
none i mean sure like i worked and i mean yeah but it's you had responsibilities but now you just have more perspective and i was facetiming yeah. maddie and we were like why were we so high strung which you're not i know uh, <laughs> tell me about it you guys would be like so stressed i'm like guys it's really okay like but it is big of a deal interesting that having a kid chilled me out yeah to some extent i think okay what extent not (laughs) okay (laughs) no i don't know i just i don't think you're just like super chill now neither do i okay so tyler thinks i'm chill does he he said that to me before i don't know (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay no because we that. talk i've told i've talked to tyler about like i think you've made a very big difference from where you used to be yeah yeah and our family will make comments about that mm-hmm. and tyler's like i'm confused it's like how could what? she have been worse than this <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> in the nicest way possible because you are very in our family i know that you think that you're not you are very much like your way or it just won't happen you know, I, I'm going to fight you on that. I disagree. I will try to get some examples, but I, I don't. No, I actually talk about this with my therapist. But Cammie, because you, you were at the place that you were, I think you've grown so much. Yes, but I also think that families in general hold on to a belief of... But Tyler thinks so. Okay, Tyler, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Hold on to a belief of someone. Yes. And then and it's hard. And then you're thing. in that box. And that's your thing. You, I mean, you you must feel that way where it's like, oh, 100%. Lucy can't do anything on her uh, own. 100%. Like, <laughs> mom, literally, mom's like, but that's also being the baby. No, but I'm saying everyone's put in this box and then it's hard for, sure. for people to acknowledge that people can grow or change, etc. Like, I'll do the smallest thing by myself. And mom is like, you are a god yeah i cannot believe you've done this i'm so proud of you i mean it's a great feeling yeah but then sometimes i'm like okay do you really think that little of me yeah but she doesn't mean it in that way no i agree but for me like this is what i've talked about this with my therapist deeply what bothers me almost is because yes i used to be my way or the highway yeah but for instance family weekends at the beach when people say, what do you want for dinner? Everyone always looks to me because I used yeah, to be the one. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. say, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. No, I'll try to think of an example. But I do think I to don't, some extent. I don't want to do things I don't want to do. I watering so much. Which is fair. I own that. Yeah. But then I don't, I always just try to say like, I'm not going to do doesn't it. doesn't matter. I, it doesn't matter. I don't need everyone else. But I think everyone's so trained to uh-huh. adjust to my needs yeah. or wants that they almost feel inclined to do it, even though I don't want them to anymore. Yeah. Does maybe, that make that maybe sense? It's, you no, know, for sure, for sure. I think that you definitely are put in a box and then it's tough to get out of that box. And I can't think of exact like times or examples, but you've, you've definitely grown. Okay. You have. I'm just saying. But yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to think what's happening in my life. Um, nothing. I, I feel like I'm kind of failing everything so right sick. now. Everyone's sick, always. No, I cried on the internet yesterday, which I don't love. Oh, yeah. I saw that. But I just... So sad. I kind of... Yeah. I had this breaking <laughs> moment. I'm exhausted. I, I don't sleep. And I just feel like I'm failing at kind of everything. I, that's like... I don't I, want to say crazy, but like no, but I is. know I'm not exactly. So, but <laughs> so it's really like hard that. when you have. I know it's easy for you to say. No, I know, just the pull of having children mm-hmm. and working and wanting to do certain things and yeah. be there for people in ways, and it's just the time. There's not You're enough spread time. Spread very thin. I feel exactly. Yeah, I feel spread very thin. I feel like I'm burning the candle on all ends, mm-hmm. and I don't know. It's just a lot. Yeah, but, and I get, I get where you're coming from. I think. I mean, I literally don't know how you do it. I don't know how it's possible. <laughs> like I just don't get it. But I think you need to give yourself some grace because you're doing a really good job of it. Thank you. And it's not. 
you're not doing anything wrong. No, I know. It's just, I don't know. I know, but I don't like that you feel that way. <laughs> well, it's it's a confusing place to live, my brain. Um, I don't know why my, I feel pulled to this, but have you seen the videos of Miles Teller dancing behind the bar? I sure have. Love that man. Okay. Because one angle gave me the ick, and then the other angle was like, I love oh, him. Oh, um, what, what was the ick angle? Uh, you have to send it to me. It was like a little frontal. I, I can't explain it. <laughs> She's full frontal. No, it was full frontal. Speaking Great. of. Wait, I want to see it. No, that, I can't. We can't, like, promote. Oh, I guess that's true. Like, him leaked <laughs> dick pics. Although I think, okay, wait. I think he posted it. Well, I Googled it. Yeah. I'm trying to find it. Uh, I couldn't find it. But people are saying that it might not be him. But I think he posted it. On his Twitter? Yeah. Oh. Oh, like he accidentally. Uh, like it was an accident. Oh. But it like came but from him. that happen? Wolf, have you, do you know what we're talking about? I do not. <laughs> okay. Drake leaked a oh, dick pic. Yes, yes. I've been hearing it ever since the talk of the studio. Yeah. Was it a video or a picture? It was a video. Let me tell you. I was at, okay, so I went to a dinner. Wait, so are we talking about this? I guess we're talking about it now. Um, I'm going to Google like how did Drake, how was Drake's uh, leaked? Um. I saw so many funny tweets that were like, I saw a Drake leak trending on Twitter and I got excited that one of his songs had been leaked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Okay. If it wasn't leaked by him wrong, I don't, I don't approve of any of this. However, I can't find information. Even if it was I don't an accident, really like Google that this. sucks. No, it but sucks, how does but that... it's less, it, it, yeah, it's less like someone found like yeah, you know what yeah, i mean yeah. it's like someone found them For and put sure. them out there if he accidentally posted it, that sucks. that sucks although i don't know if he oh you're he, saying you don't know he, he, no i'm saying if he leaked it mm -hmm. that it sucks because people are seeing it yeah but i think it painted him in a light of in a, in he a might feel way. proud of himself um yeah i'd like to say it. i but it, <laughs> it, it was a very weird video he's like kind of like <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird video I was at a dinner. Okay, I got invited to an influencer event, which mm -hmm. I never go to. I never go to events. I feel like you go to some. Lucy, when? Well, maybe not. Like, I don't know how many. My management and my PR. Are like, okay. You need to go. But I just never go because I I don't love the getting, the, the whole aspect of it I don't yeah. love. And also just, well, really it's, I have children and like, that's well, my of priority. course for me, it would be, I would like, that would give me anxiety going somewhere that I don't know anyone mm -hmm. and having to talk and like make friends. Like that I would feel any anxiety. of that. That's interesting. That would make me not, I just think I'm a quiet, sometimes awkward person. Well, I leave places and I'm like, what the fuck was I saying? Yeah. Why did I say that? Why can't uh, I just shut my mouth? Mm -hmm. Why do I have to like talk so much? Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just have so much. We can cut this. Then you tell me things that other people say, and I'm like, well, you definitely couldn't have said anything worse than that. No, I agree. Yeah, we don't have to cut that. Yeah. Um. So anyway, I get invited to this event, and. I'm trying to be better about going if it's a brand that I really love. Yeah. I'm not going to say yes to everything at all, but it was a dinner with Coterie, the diaper company who we love. It's hosted by Carly Claus. I'm like, yeah, okay. Like, you got to go. Done. So I had it on my calendar. They sent where the dinner was. Mm -hmm. Like, the restaurant name is on the calendar invite. But this is where I've changed so much is that I never once looked at where the event was. I knew it was downtown. That's all I knew. I was just like, I'll get there when I get there. I didn't know what I was wearing until... No, you texted me like two hours before the start time of the yeah. dinner. And you're like, yeah, I don't know what I'm wearing. And I was like, what the fuck? I, like, no, how? I start. I mean, I I vlogged, not vlogged. I, I like saw. Instagram story the entire process. So like that, that was me getting you ready. You were on one. I know. <laughs> Why? I've never seen you. What was happening? <laughs> like that. What was happening? <laughs> literally <laughs> great editing. i was just laughing the whole time because i'm like what is happening to her well that's like, how i am when i'm happy when you're face having me yes <laughs> i was just you know what i've decided 
Wait, and then I'm going to go back to the dinner. Okay, yeah, sorry. I, for so long, put this pressure on myself with work of, like, mm. I have to be a certain way of, like, what we see as an influencer. Yeah. And I have to be more serious and put together and la, la, la. It's just and not me. just don't. It's not me. Yeah. So I've started having fun again with it. Well, because people want to watch someone that's relatable and not, like, a just cookie cutter by the book person. Though. Yeah, but the other thing is, like, I live to live. I don't live to post. Yeah. Like, most of... I, one thing I'm proud of myself, and you can call me out if you disagree, is I don't think I'm an influencer who's on my phone a lot. Uh, like, yeah, I, yeah no, I'm working. I think to some extent, yeah. I work a lot on my phone, but I'm not, like... No. Okay, then, yeah. Setting up the... Like, being... No. You know what I mean? No. And... If you're going to film something, you're literally just taking out your camera and just yes. doing it quickly. And I was talking to my friends about this because, for instance, the girls trip, I got like a few snippets. I was just like, mm. burp, 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 burp. but I could have made like such beautiful content and done all these yeah. things. I was like, but then I, I wouldn't have enjoyed saying. myself. Yeah. Then so, it just would have been all about right. making content. So I'm going back to, or not back to, but I'm leaning more into just that's who I am. Mm -hmm. I don't care. And we're just going to FaceTime and have fun. So, yes, I was on one. I don't know what was happening. It's so funny. I think it was because I had spent the day with my girlfriend, Mackie, and, like, I had the thrill of... Yeah, you were just in the ...female middle. interaction. <laughs> I'm shocked you didn't respond to the hair gel looking, like, yeah. cum in my hand. I know. I, um, but I... It was just... There were so many... So things. many things. <laughs> Basically, I showed this event. Thank God I did not wear, like, jeans and a sweater like I was considering. Why would you have done It was that? a five-star Michelin restaurant <laughs> no. on the 63rd floor of a building. No. Yes, it was. Called Saga, S-A-G-A. No. It, no, it was basically like a <laughs> not per se vibe, but like yeah. that's what it, it was so goddamn nice. I walk in and I was like, oh my God, was not expecting this. Four course meal. Holy shit. The tables were gorgeous. Gorgeous. Everyone was like dress to the fucking nines i'm surprised they wouldn't put like a tire on there i think most people knew to google I saga that's probably or knew the restaurant yeah i mean if they had put purse if it was per se i would have yeah, been like whoa, whoa. and oh my God. i walk in i met the sweetest girl and this is where the internet is weird i walk up to the elevator and there's a girl waiting for the elevator and i said it was clear we were both going to yeah. the event yeah so I was like, hi, I'm Cameron. She's like, hi, I'm Maxie. And I was like, oh my God, my mom's grandma name is Maxie. That's so funny. We start talking yeah. and we get off the elevator together. And I didn't know one person going. I had messaged them and asked if I could get a guest list. <laughs> I would do the same thing. I was just like, hey, I'm curious if my friend was is going to be there. Yeah. Are you able to share a guest list? Uh, they said no, but fine. Well, they were like, what's your friend's name? We can look. Oh. And I was like, oh, fuck. But... So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to latch on to this girl because yeah. she's, like, awesome. So then we end up – we start talking. We vibe immediately. We walk into the other room, and we happen to see our – we both are friends with Hunter McGrady. Uh -huh. So then the three of us just hang out all night. At our table, we've all been talking. Mm -hmm. And what I love about certain – like, certain events is when you're talking, not – you're not like, oh, what do you do? What do you do? What's yeah. your handle? And you're not talking about work. We were all – having a shared experience of being a mom. Uh -huh. so we were all just talking about our kids. Which At the end so of dinner, we're like, wait, what is everyone's handle uh -huh. to follow each other? One girl, I didn't realize, like, I knew who she was. But then Maxie, we exchange handles, whatever. We get home. I go to follow her, and we have DM'd. No. I had followed her. No. She had been following me. She put the pieces together at the end of the night. She goes, wait, are you friends with Emily Dinata? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, I know you. Like, That's I've seen so your funny. stuff. And we were jamming. I'm like, this is why the world is weird. Because internet is so, yeah, it feels like an alternate no re universe where I forget people's names. I'm like, have I seen them? Have I not? Yeah. Anyway. That's so funny. Well, I, like you said, when you share, when you, at the start of this, showed me that girl. I was like, I don't know anyone's name, especially on TikTok. <clears throat> I just know their face. their face, yeah. Like it, but it's more TikTok than Instagram. Oh, I feel that way. Yeah. Like, I really don't know anyone. I don't really... Uh, I don't... I guess I follow a few influencers, but I really don't follow many, I don't think. Yeah. Or, like, keep up with them. 
with influencers on Instagram. I don't either, but the internet world is so funny because then I got, but it was such a nice event to feel a, I like felt really good. I got dressed. Mm -hmm. You look so good. Thank you so much. Hair was on fleek. Hair was on fleek. I want to chop off my hair. What are your thoughts? I don't know why this just, I was about to say, so I was talking with mom about this because of course I'm FaceTiming mom and mom's like, so Cammy wants to chop off her hair. Should she do it? I'm like, why? Why is this part of the conversation? Um, <clears throat> I think, well, where do you want to go? Like what level? Uh, like I almost want to chop. It's driving me in. So my thing is, if you chop it, you're not going to be able to put it up. And I think that you're going to be even more annoyed. You don't think I could like just pull the the top pieces back? I mean, it depends how short you're going. Yeah, you can. You you want to go chin length? No, but like I'm saying, okay. If yeah, but you need you need more hair <laughs> to like you're not like you need to tie it or clip it, okay. which means you would need more hair. I'm just saying, I think that's something to think about when you think about the length. Because you're annoyed with it in your face and all over and being like... No, it's it's annoying on, like, my chest. It gets caught, okay. like, when I'm holding the baby, like, I, I, it gets caught yeah. there and then he's grabbing it. And I think uh, you... Both of my, I mean, you've both cut Both of it. them are just grabbing yeah. it and... You've cut in it different short ways before. And it's driving me insane. And it looks good. I just think that you wear your hair up so much that you're going to want to put it up. So you need to be careful about how short you go. So okay. that you can still put it up. All right. Well, we'll see. But you, I do think you should do it. Do you have any closing remarks for the day? I don't think so. Do you? My eye really fucking hurts. Um, no, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think so either. I. Yeah, I just want to feel. I want to feel like myself again. Yeah. I just want to feel like I have a little bit of my life under control, mm -hmm. and I don't. I, that's so crazy that you say that. Because, like, I think you do. You mean you do? I, I know think that from you the do. outside. No, but I, I know a really that you good do. picture. I know that you do. Well, like when you said, I told you this, but when you were like, "Oh, I'm," I just feel like I'm not an adult. Like I don't know how to do adult I things. I don't. And I'm like, you and Maddie are like such adults to me. No. That I am just like, how am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to be like that when I'm their age? How am I supposed to be a, a mother? A mother. You're going to be a great mom. Crazy. I can't wait. But it's just so crazy. Like, I'm 27. I feel like I'm 22. I got married when I was 27. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not going to happen. <laughs> birthdays in june yeah like nana had a kid at 22 that's oh my god i can't imagine um okay well i love you love you this happy is so valentine's fun. day yeah happy valentine's day everyone